Good morning guys. Welcome back to the Wild Huckleberry. As you can tell, it is bright and sunny this morning. I don't guess there's a cloud in the sky. Woo! It's going to be hot, hot, hot today. The humidity has come back. It is, uh, it's rough, but it's Arkansas. It's August. It's expected. Uh, the goats are all screaming at me. I'm ready to get in the shade. Get that sun out of my face. Oh, so where are my sunglasses? Shouldn't I? In the morning. Whew. Okay. Much better now. Much better now. As usual. Good morning, Farkas. We got the, the usual girls out here running around. And plus one extra in this pretty girl here. I do believe that's the one that I've... It's hard to tell the difference between her and the others like her, but I think that's the one that I've been calling Whitebeard. That goes back to some history. We had some... Our first Americanas we ever got... Um, we had one, and I called her Redbeard because she was kind of reddish in color. And uh, so I called her Redbeard, and she was absolutely one of my favorite chickens I have ever, ever, ever had. And uh, so that's kind of, I love the Americanas, the Americanas, whatever you want to call them. But uh, I love them, and I, I wish I had a lot, lot more of them. And I, which uh, we have at times had a lot more of them, but uh, that's kind of a throwback for her. Uh, all right, I'm gonna give the chickens a little bit of the goody stuff here, make them happy. I'll throw some over here so that thing one can come get it. There we go. Although, as soon as he says anything, Farkas will probably run over there. All right, well, I'm gonna get these guys fed. It is Sunday morning, and it is uh, church morning, of course, and Sonia's getting ready to leave right now. Uh, we have, we've gone to three services at church because we have so many, we, we're too crowded. To be honest with you, we moved from our old sanctuary into the gym, and this summer, they usually have a summer slump, but not this year. We have just been getting bigger and bigger, so, which is not a bad problem. I'm not complaining, but so we've gone to three services to try to take care of that, 8.30, 9.45, and 11, and so I got to go teach Sunday school, or I would be doing video stuff for the 9.45 and the 11 o'clock. <laughs> It's just one of those things. I, I don't mind doing it. I only have to do it like once a month. So, but this is my last Sunday to teach until uh, until let's say September, October, till November. Mm -hmm. That's oh, you know, hunting season. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get over of here, take care of these guys. I'll give you a little update on uh, what the video is about in just a minute. Uh, you guys, I'll be right back. All right, so I ran back to the house. I just want to show you guys this. I've showed it before, but I'm going to show it again. See this stuff right here? I ran back in the house and grabbed it. And I put it on Clint. And do you see all the flies on him? It's, it's pretty bad. He is covered pretty well in flies on his back. He's, it's really his back that gets the worst of it. But he is covered in flies. Now, Natasha is just as bad. Let me guarantee you, next video, I will, which will, I will probably do tomorrow, I'll take video of him. So on the next video, I'll show you what he looks like the next day because I poured some of this stuff on him. I tricked him. So I got some on him right quick. So this stuff is good and you gotta have it because those flies are terrible. All right, guys, about to head in. Just gonna tell you, uh, Got a little bit accomplished this weekend. Did something with the tractor. I'll show you guys that. Would have been easier a different way, but my wife wanted it done with the tractor, so I did it with the tractor. 
and uh, I got it done. It just wasn't perhaps the best it could have been done, but it's done. But uh, <laughs> the other thing I'll tell you about, I'm stepping here in the garage, it'll be dark for a second. The other thing is, look at all these tools laying on top of this. Look, the lawnmower. Yes, I'm having more problems with my stupid lawnmower. The, uh, as you can see, this is the whole assembly that, with the belt that I just replaced, what, two weeks ago? Barely got any mowing done with it. And this pulley is messed up again. The, this time the bolt didn't come off, the pulley just messed up. And I had just replaced that pulley right there because it the bolt, the, apparently the nut came off of it and it came off. So I replaced it and then tried to mow and had problems. That messed up and look what it did. I just bought a brand new belt and it popped my belt. So I'm telling you, I am just about the end of, at the end of my rope on this lawnmower. I'm very, 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 very close to the end of my rope on this lawnmower. I'm just, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but Lee really wants me to buy a new one because <laughs> he has to use this thing and he's sick of it. And I'm sick of it. I understand completely. But anyway, just thought I'd show you guys real quick that, uh, yeah, uh, another problem I had. I fought this for a good while yesterday, messing with this thing and to no avail. Now I'm going to try to take those parts back and see if I can get them replaced. Sonia has asked that these trees right here be removed. They're not good trees for anything, so I'm going to go ahead and see about removing them using the tractor. I'm going to try to pull them out of the ground. We'll see how this works. I don't have a chain with a hook on it, so this may or may not work out too great. Well, I almost got the got it out of the ground. It came somewhat, but then the chain started slipping. So I got to redo it. So let me redo that and try it again. It didn't quite get it all out of there. I'll have to play with that some more, but let's see if we can get some more out.
Whew. So, I did it the way Sonya wanted me to. But, wasn't perfect. I didn't get everything out of the ground. And this bow's definitely difficult. But, you do what you're told. Try to get it done like it's supposed to, but that's the best I could do. <laughs> but at least all the trees are out of the ground now. Well, most of them is. Alright, since I'm out pulling things out of the ground, we put had our temporary, temporary pole right here. We took it out, but the ground is still here. I'm just going to see. I don't know if that little thing there that holds it, I don't know if that'll hold well enough or not, but I'm going to give it a try and see if it'll help me pull this thing out of the ground so I can fill this hole back in. This hole has been here too long. Let's see what happens. I will say I tried to pull it out with the four-wheeler. That didn't work. Success! It is out of the ground. Look how long that thing is. <laughs> That's why I couldn't pull it out. But the tractor did it. So, good. At least I accomplished something else while I was out here pulling things up. Alright, got a little help with the feeding tonight. Pax is jumping in here with me. Thor's food down. Yeah. Pax is going to give the goats theirs. And I'll go over here real quick and give this so Natasha can have it. And share a little bit with the goats. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey why are you standing in there? Get out of there. Because they're crazy. That's good. Because they're crazy. Hello, how boots. goats are because these are your animals. Yes, they are. They are mine and I love them. Ugh. Hello, some, Thor. I got some on me. All right, the other two are right here, but there's one right there and there's one right there. Yeah, ah. yeah. Honey, get your head out, babe. Pull it, pull it away from her. There you go. Pull her head out. <laughs> and they go pour the last of it in there. Good job. Thank you for the help, bud. I'm going to go put this in that trash can. Okay. And then I'm going for a stroll walk. Okay. You go for a stroll rock, walk. <laughs> you said rock. I was about to say rock, wasn't I? Oh, almost. Mm, okay, that was, that was not a good one. Oh, I actually made mine that time. Alright, I'm going to give Thor a bite and Pax is going to go for a walk. I want to stir it. Oh, okay, he's going to stir Thor's first. Come so. here, sir. <laughs> Thor is so good with the kids. He knows it. Look at him. He's wanting to rub up against him. He's a good dog. Uh, uh. All right, we're going to feed Thor. That's way of an update. I put the fly stuff 
on Clint and Natasha this morning. Showed you the flies on them. Now look. Nothing. There are no flies on these two right here. Horse flies, yes. The horse flies, I can't do anything about them. But those little flies that were all over them, gone. Look at, look at Clint. He's clean. He is clean. There's one fly just landed on him. That's it. That stuff works, guys. I'm telling you. Not a sponsor, but I believe in it because it works great.